What is up y'all? It's Chaz and today I got to do some fishing down south in Gulf Shores. Went down there, um, was able to uh, do a charter this morning. Super fun. Had a great time with them. Appreciate them coming out y'all. If you want to come down and fish with me, go to my website alabamaredfishwrangler.com. You can book a charter with me. Um, I'm only available on weekends currently, um, but spots go quick. So if you want to go do some fishing, hit me up and let's go. Guys, I was able to chase down some, some nice fish today. I'm super pumped about this new bait I've been throwing. I've been throwing this Miradine XL. Um, this is the Truth color, um, special edition color by Speckled Truth. And y'all, this thing is the truth. It truly is. I love this bait. One of the best search baits I've used, hands down. Uh, hooked up and caught a 22 inch spec today with this lure. Um, <clears throat> just just kind of sight casting, saw some movement, sight casted it, boom, thump, hooked up, 22 inch trout. Then, you know, things got kind of slow after the sun came up, the tide stopped moving. So I was just kind of trolling around, you know, looking for fish on the flats. Was going to try to sight fish for some flounder because the water was real clear, but just did not see anything there, y'all. So, um, ended up just tossing this out behind my kayak and just trolling this bad boy. And as you can see, it got destroyed by some reds. Um, hooked up on a good red, lost him. Then ended up hooking up on another red fish and got that one in the boat. He was around 27 inches, okay? So... This thing will catch redfish and trout. Great, great search bait. If you're looking for something that's got a, a real flashy presentation um, and is big enough to be seen, especially when trolling, that's a good thing. This is your bait right here. It's a suspending twitch bait. Um, typically, if I'm working the lure, um, what I will do is I will cast it out there and slow roll it and then twitch, twitch, slow roll it, twitch, twitch. And before I do that, though, I'm letting it sink down in the water column a little bit. So I let it, I cast it out, I let it sit for a couple seconds, and then I will start to do that slow roll and twitch, twitch. But guys, let's get into the video. Here's a little bit of footage, um, some redfish action. Didn't get that trout on film, but let's check out that redfish. Um, caught some fish today. All right, guys. I'm hooked up here. Don't know what this is. Feels pretty good though. He's doing some weird stuff. Feels like a red. Flipping them, you know. There, I hooked a 22 inch trout, got him in the boat. But when I got him in, he shook, shook the lure in my hand. Check that bad boy out. He hounded that near XL. Good fish, y'all. This guy is just attacked or something. Well, guys, he's bloody. He's gonna have to go home with me. But a great fish is that. There ain't no way he's surviving, though. I hate that. I'm a huge advocate of catch and release. And I'm gonna bring this fish over to these kids over here and see if they want it. It's the truth, all right. It's covered in water. Hey guys, you guys want a redfish? You bet, man. All I gotta do, let me measure him up really quick and I'll give him to you, okay, buddy?
Tamiridine got way down there deep in his throat and there was just no way he was gonna survive. And so those kids over there were trying to catch some dinner and went ahead and helped him out a little bit. Y'all, you should see my boat. It is like absolute carnage. Um, but if you're looking to target big fish, you can't go wrong with a Miradine XL. Even small fish will hit it. It's kind of misleading, but it, it definitely works, y'all. As you can see, that fish, I, I felt really bad about taking that fish. Um, I actually um, gave it to some kids that were fishing on a pier near there. They were, they were trying to catch some dinner. So I ended up giving it to them. Just hooked him too deep in those troubles, man. They just, uh, they did a number on his gills. So wasn't, uh, wasn't able to revive him like I, like I would have liked to. Um, typically anything over 20 inches, I would like to release it in the water. Um, that's just my personal preference, not saying anything bad about anyone who doesn't do that, but that's my personal preference. I'm a strong believer. If you give back to the estuary, it'll give back to you. And if we want this to last y'all, we can't be taking all these fish every single time we go out. We can't be taking a limit of fish. There's not going to be any fish later on. Bottom line. Anyway, so Overall, really good day, had a good charter, had some good fishing, personal fishing after the fact. Um, that's where you saw that redfish footage and all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't gotten your hands on one of these The Truth Miradine XLs, I highly advise you do. They are available at speckledtruth.com. Um, Chris Bush, awesome guy. This, this lure's killer. They, they work. Um, the Miradine XL in general works. So if you're just looking for a good search bait, you cannot go wrong with the Miradine XL. Um, but anyways, guys, if y'all haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button below. That really helps me out. Um, and y'all, I appreciate you watching these videos. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya!